in February, I didn't get to do a monthly favorites. So I thought coming on the end of March that I would put the two together. So this is February, March, monthly favorites and fails. And surprisingly, I had quite a few fails. So we're going to get into that, but I always like to show you what I'm wearing as far as a top because I always get asked. And this is your quintessential, absolutely adorable t-shirt but it is so much more than a t-shirt. It's so elevated. So I love the little toggles that it has right here. This is an off the shoulder or a cold shoulder look. So you have your sleeve. It's a very lightweight fabric. So this is gonna be perfect for summer, spring going on into summer. I think you're going to absolutely love this. It comes in quite a few colors. This little heart necklace that I am wearing today did come in a set. So I'll make sure that I link that. I think it came in a set. I will double check that. I'll also do want to share my earrings with you cute rhinestone earring with a little butterfly accent right here I'm a butterfly person. I love them. I also can show you most of my rings, not my wedding ring, but the other rings that I have on today, along with the fingernails and all of the makeup that I have on. All of that's going to be listed down below in the description box, along with everything I talk about today. All right, let's get into favorites and fails. Let's start off with the fails because I want to get them out of the way because I'm somebody that doesn't like to normally talk about it. But if I find a product that is really not good at all, I'm going to talk to you about it. And unfortunately, that is this About Face Foundation. Now, this might be a good foundation. I don't know. But this is my third color of having this foundation and it being so orange and it oxidizing so fast that there is no way that I could wear it. So just a little heads up on that. I really am disappointed in this. Also, I do not understand why a high-end foundation has a doe foot applicator. I think that, you know, spend a couple extra dollars, put a pump in there, and it's so much easier and less messy. So I really am not a fan of the About Face Foundation at all for the very fact that the coloring was off and the oxidation factor was terrible. I did also get the About Face eyeshadow primer and I tried wearing this today and I found that as I'm doing my eye makeup, it was creasing and that's not something that you want. I mean, that's the whole premise of an eyeshadow primer. Help it to not crease, help the eyeshadows to be more vibrant. This is kind of a little bit greasy as you put it on. It doesn't have a lot of opaqueness about it. That's probably not a word, but it is very opaque. And so when you put on your eyeshadow, your eyeshadow has to do the job. And if you have discoloration on your eyelids like I do, then, you know, your eyeshadow doesn't look as good. So this was not one that I am very impressed with at all. Also, I am a little bit disappointed, not a little bit, I'm a lot disappointed with the Huda Beauty Creamy Eyeshadow Palettes. I purchased these immediately. And as a matter of fact, since I'm Rouge, I was able to purchase them first and I've used them probably three or four times. And each time I use them, I use both palettes, not just one. I wanted to love these because I wanted to love cream eyeshadow. But here's the thing. First of all, they're not all cream. Like I thought, okay, everything's going to be cream. There are certain shadows that are powders, but they all say that they're creamy. So that's a little bit misleading there. And that kind of was a little bit upsetting to me, but okay, I understand. Now there are colors in here that are beautiful and they're bright and I like that, but they're not all creamy. And some of the creams are impossible to work with. I think that if you used your finger, like this is a cream right here, I can't even get this to work very good on my finger. I mean, normally when you, put your finger down in something and you're really rubbing on it like that, you're going to get up a lot of pigment and there is a little bit there, but the true cream ones in here are not that good of eyeshadows. So I was disappointed. I am wearing this today, combination of the two put together and it worked out fine. But like this shadow right here, which is a true creamy shadow is very emollient and it creased so bad that I'm actually the whole day I've been going like this trying to wipe away the creases. So I'm a little bit disappointed in these and I would not recommend them. All right, on to something more positive. I wanted to share with you to very begin with this Color Wow product called Raise the Root. This is a heat activated product. I've had this for a while, but I really didn't know how to use it. And it's been really sad that I didn't know how to use it. Now, it's the reason that my hair has volume today. 
and I am on fourth day hair, which is unheard of for me. I mean, I'm washing my hair every other day or every third day, but I was being really lazy this week. Didn't want to wash my hair, but what I did was I saw this little tutorial on the color well, and I'm like, I have that product, but I'm not using it like this. So what the gal did, she was on her fourth day, fifth day of hair. Her hair was really greasy on the roots. And she said, this is designed to help like a dry shampoo, but it's a wet product. So that's what I did. So you spray it on your roots, you spray it anywhere where you look greasy, and then you get out your hair dryer and you use your hair dryer on a heat setting or a hotter setting. And then you style your hair a little bit to get it to be back to looking like it's clean again. It worked, it worked so good. My hair, I'm really surprised how well it did in my hair. And I don't have a tutorial for you, but if I can find one, I'll let you know. And I might do a short on that. So I'm back to being impressed with this. I'm going to use this again. Now I did find a new company for skincare that I'm really in love with. And it's a Korean skincare company. This is called Blythe. And I found three products from them. And the first one is a five energy root vitalizing and hydrating. And so this has different roots in it that it's almost like the fermentation processes that I talk about all the time with the galactomyces and the bifida. And that's what both of these are. But this one, that's the vital treatments. That's the um, energy roots. This one is really glowy and it just makes your skin look really pretty. And it gets that brightness about it. And I've been using this for about two weeks. You shake it to get it out instead of just like normally pouring it out and you get too much. So I really like the delivery system on it is what I'm trying to say. And then the other one is the Vital Treatments uh, 8 Nourishing Beans. Now I've been hearing about bean essence, how good this one is for feeding your face and the nutrients that you need. And that's what it says on here. It says for vitalizing and lifting. So this one I like to use in conjunction with the other one, but I like to use this one first, the bean one first, and then the root one afterwards. And I've been using it on my neck some. I really love the way they feel. They sink in really quickly. It takes time with skincare to know whether or not you're really gonna love them. But I like that they're not sticky. I like that they sink in. I like the delivery system on them. And I like the ingredient deck on it. it I just think that they're really good. So really am enjoying those. And then they have the pressed serum. Now there is another company that is so expensive and has a pressed serum out that some of the gals that have you know, hundreds of thousands of followers over on TikTok are talking about, and they love that. And so I was like, okay, I can't shell out over a hundred dollars on a press serum, and that's how much it was. But I found this one. By the way, these don't have funky fragrance in them. As a matter of fact, this particular one doesn't have a fragrance at all. But this little pressed serum, it looks more like it would be a cream but it's not, it is definitely a serum because as soon as you start rubbing it in, it rubs in immediately, feels so nourishing and just really am enjoying it. Now, let me tell you what this one is called. It's called Tundra Chaga. Now, if you haven't heard of Chaga before, Chaga is actually a mushroom that grows and it is supposed to be really good for anti-aging and healing and anti-inflammatory. So this has that in there and it, this one for firming. And the women that I have talked to or seen that take chaga internally through a tea, so they make the actual mushroom tea and then they drink it, they love it. And they love the benefits that it's giving their gut and their body. And so this is the pressed serum that goes on your skin. And so far, so good. I'm loving this one as well. I love how well it sinks in. And then you can layer on top of them if you want to or whatever you need to do. I'm really enjoying these a lot. I also want to mention once again, a product that I've mentioned so many times on my channel is from Pravana. And this is the Perfect Blonde treatment mask that is the purple toning mask. The reason that I want to mention this is because even though now I have kind of brunette hair, I still use this all the time to keep the brassies at bay. And a lot of people have said in the past, use a blue shampoo or a blue color treatment to put in your hair. I don't like that as well because yes, it does counteract the yellow, but not as good as this purple does. Now look at that. Look at how pigmented that is. You can mix this in with your conditioner or you can just use it as a mask after your conditioner and then rinse it out. It just depends on what you want. 
I use it both ways depending on how brassy I feel my hair is at the time. It is as good or better than any salon treatment I've ever gotten. I love this stuff. I've been using it for years and years. I've purchased it over and over again. If you're a blonde, you will absolutely love what this does. If you want it to be a little bit more toned down, this is the ticket. This is so, so good. Also for hair, I want to just mention this because I just happened upon this. This wasn't something that I was planning on buying, but when I saw this Redken 28 High Hold Control Hairspray, I pounced on it because this is an anti-humidity hairspray and I live in a very dry climate as I talk about all the time, but I sweat because of menopause. And so you get the power surges or the hot flashes and you need to protect your hair from falling flat. And that's what this does. And I have, I've fallen in love with it. I love my Kenra. I still use my Kenra all the time, but this one for the power surges and menopause has been just right up there. And I'm finding that I've completely fallen in love with it. Love the sprayer on it. The sprayer is really good as far as giving a very fine mist and the hold on it is fantastic. So it's not crunchy. It doesn't feel like my hair has a weighted down feel from being a heavy hairspray. It's just a really great hairspray with really great hold and anti-humidity in it. So I do love that. I wanted to talk to you very quickly about these T3 curling irons. I have two of them. I have two different designs. One is just your regular standard clip curling iron. This is a one and a half inch barrel. And then this is a one and a quarter inch barrel. But this one right here is the barrel that turns. And I have always done one that is just your traditional clip and used it that way. But when I found this one that turns, I was really pleased and really surprised at how much I do like this. So these heat up so very quickly. They have the ceramic ionic technology that draws water out of the air to your hair and helps lock in the moisture in your hair. So it's not going to damage your hair too much. I also love that on here, and I don't know if you can see this or not as it's heating up, you can custom what heat you want this to be. So if you don't want it to be all the way to the top, and I don't, I like mine to be a little bit less, you just push this button until you get the temperature that you want. And I don't like it to be all the way up because I have fairly fine hair. And what happens is it can fry your hair because this is a very hot curling iron. And so you want to be careful of that. So after you clip the tip of your hair in, like you would just clip the Hopefully I can do this without looking. You just clip the tip in and then you push this button and it will roll it up. And it's so cool that it does that. And then you can let it go. And what's really great about that is there's a little timer on here that you can put for five, eight or 10 seconds. I put mine on five because I want it to not again, burn my hair very much. I, it only holds it for five seconds. And then I know to let it go. I love that it has that timer on there because that timer tells me, let it go, don't go too far with it. I think that's a really great thing. I love that it's completely customizable. I love the turn on it. It goes both ways. So you can do either side of your hair. So you get that beach wave, which these I think are called beach wavers. You get that beach wave and it works out so good. I've been loving that they heat up super fast, that you have the turning barrel, that you're able to get the beachy wave, that they have the ionic technology. I love everything about them. And I think that they're worth the money. Great tool, absolutely fantastic curling iron. Before we move on to a couple more beauty items, I wanna just share with you this adorable little crossbody purse that I have and that I've been using. I think I've told you over and over again that I really have been leaning towards using very small purses and these crossbodies are great. This one has a really long strap on it and then it has the little handle on top. I love the little bow detail on this though. I didn't have a navy blue bag to go with any of my stuff. Believe that or not, as many purses as I have. I also like that it just has two pockets on it. But these pockets are deep and they're wide and you can see clear down in there. And I love that about it. I really think that this is a cute purse, but it's functional as well because you have these deep pockets. You know that in any favorites video that I do that I'm gonna have to share a purse with you. And by the way, I think I'll just share this while we're here. This is my charger for when I'm out for and my phone goes down. This is one of the best chargers I've ever had. You can tell that it has a little bit of weight to it. You can get multiple devices 
charging into this thing at once. It gives you a display right here that tells you how much charge you have in the device itself and you can charge external things to it. So you could put a regular USB, USC port right here. It has an iPhone, a USB, a USC, and then it also has the outlet plug that you can just plug into the wall. This is one of my favorite purchases of the year and I've shown it so many times. This is a great charger and I know it's a little bit more bulky, but it holds a lot more charge than those little bitty ones. So really love that charger for my phone. One thing that I'm super duper excited about is talking about oil pulling or swishing. And this is my old bottle. I'm gonna put this down because it's kind of got some oil on the outside and it's getting all over my fingers. This is my new bottle because I don't want to ever run out. This is from Guru Nanda. Hope I'm saying that right. This is the natural oil pulling oral rinse. But what's cool about this is it's not just coconut, it's got mint in it. This makes my breath so much better than it has been in years. Not that I had horrible breath, but I'm one of those people that is always just so worried or conscientious that I have bad breath that I would actually, you know, kind of stand away from people and kind of go like this, especially if I'd eaten, you know, somewhere where I know I had onions or garlic, Lord. Anyway, this has improved my mouth health more than I can even explain to you. I've been doing this particular oil pulling for the past six months and at my dentist, you know, when they test your gums, I would always have between three and five really bad reports about my gums, even though I do floss and I just could not get any of my numbers up. I always had a few fives, but everything was always usually a three and a four. So when I went to the dentist this time, I was shocked. I had one twos and threes and I only had one four. So four is bad and the higher number is better, the, the lower number is better. I was so pleased. So not only am I improving my breath, but I am improving my gum health overall. This little kit also comes with a toothbrush and you're gonna love these toothbrushes. They're really great toothbrushes. It comes with a tongue scraper as well, which I found that actually helps your mouth health as well. But what the swishing does is it takes all of the bacteria that's in your mouth and helps pull it and then you spit it out. And I suggest that you don't spit this into your sp sink, spit it into your garbage can, don't spit it down the toilet because it is that coconut oil and it might you know, clog up the pipes a little bit. But I spit mine into the trash and really want to suggest to any of you that have been thinking about this, that yes, it really does work. And I was really shocked even though I'd heard all the claims and I was like, can this really work? You can do it with just plain coconut oil and you don't have to buy this. You can just buy a jar of coconut oil. But why I love this is because the mint and I just feel like my breath is so fresh all day long. And you'll see what I'm talking about if you try this. You really have very, very fresh breath for the better part of the day. You do this anywhere from five to 20 minutes, however long you can handle it. Mine is usually about 15 minutes. You just swish it in your mouth. It comes out as an oil. Make sure that you shake this really good, comes out as an oil. I use a half of a cap of this. They say to use a full one, but I use a half because I'm cheap and I want to save my money as much as I can and it works every bit as good. So you swish and you're taking all of that gunk out of your, out of your mouth, out of your teeth and you're spitting it out so bacteria viruses i haven't even gotten sick this year as far as a cold or anything like that and i always get a cold every single winter and i didn't and i was so glad about this oh by the way i do gargle i still have my tonsils from when i was a kid and i had horrible strep throat and everything when i was a kid but i gargle with this and i feel like it also helped my throat not get any sicknesses so their claims are that it can pull gunk out of your body too I don't know about that. You'd have to do a little more deep dive if you wanted to, but prove it to yourself. Try it once and see what you think. But wow, this is so good. And by the way, this has this lasts me about two months, maybe three months, depending on how much I fill this little cap right here. Really am impressed with this. For makeup, I have some really great things that I've been trying for a while and been wanting to talk to you about. The new IT CC Natural Matte. This is their new CC cream. 
and I like this a lot. So it's a natural matte instead of the one that they have that is a full on matte. And then they have their original, which is a satin finish or just a natural finish. And then they have the illumination one, which gives you a glow. This one sits between the original one and the matte version. It's really pretty. And if you're somebody that likes a little bit more coverage, like on the medium side, you probably will really like this. The colors are the exact same as the original. So if you're looking for the color to get that's right for you, pick the one that you liked that if you've tried the original. I'm wearing the light one that's neutral. And I first got the light medium one and it was way, way too orange, but the light neutral works really good. I don't even have to color correct it like I do with every single foundation that I have. I don't have to do that at all. So this one wears really good. It goes on with one coat. I do have to put a little bit more right in through here, but one coat is very pretty on your skin. I probably would more than likely do a wear test over on Instagram so that you can see that. But as far as break apart or anything like that or settling into fine lines, none of that. But wow, I'm I'm really liking this. I'm really impressed at how much I like it. Milk Makeup's Rise Mascara. I had had this in my drawer, but I just hadn't pulled it out and tried it. And I'm really enjoying it. I like the fact that it has the, a little bit of a curved wand. I don't know why I'm such a little curved wand person. It has the natural bristles instead of the silicone bristles on it. And that seems to give me great volume as far as, you know, taking each of those very sparse eyelashes that I have and making each of those stand out, but it also gives you length on there. So I'm really enjoying this. It doesn't flake. It doesn't smudge on me and I'm wearing it today and just, yeah, this will be in my 50 something roundup of new mascaras, but it is one that I can say that will be being put in the top of those because it is such a good mascara. And I can't believe that it took me so long to try this, but I do really like it. Makeup by Mario. I also really like this. This is what I'm wearing today as it's what's got me a little bit darker on my lips. I do have a L'Oreal lipstick over top of it and that I'll make sure that, that gets linked below. Um, these are not automatic sharpeners. That's one thing that a lot of people really don't like, but I love that this is the perfect mix of not too creamy, but not too stiff. And it lasts such a long time on my lips. I absolutely love that. You can draw outside your lip line, fill it in. It looks very natural. It's very pretty. This is my favorite color because each color in his line did seem to be a little bit too warm for me. This is kind of a half red situation like MAC has where it isn't quite burgundy. It isn't quite red. It's just kind of the combination of the two with a little bit of rose in it. Very pretty. And then on the other side, you do have this nice little lip brush if you want to blur out that line, which does a great job. So that's nice to have a lip brush included in there as well. This pencil has lasted me such a long time and I'm really surprised because this is one that is in my kit. I don't keep very many others in my kit. I take it out. I use it on every single day. I do my makeup and it's really lasted me a long time. So I really am enjoying that. Also another liner that I want to talk to you about. I have talked about the L'Oreal Infallible Grip 30 hour, like 30 or 36 hour claim that it has as far as no smudging and waterproof. Okay, this one's the green one and it's what I have on today. I'm waiting for the navy blue one or the blue one. It's not navy, it's a blue one to come. I love lining my eyes in color because I feel like it gives you beautiful pops of color. You can still revert back to your 80s days when you wore all the colors that you wanted to, but you aren't quite as crazy on the eyes. These are so creamy and they are just a dream to work with. Now I just take a brush and smudge it afterwards. It does have a smudger on the other side. I just take a brush and go in and smudge it a little bit. And then once this dries down, it is there and it is budge proof. They're yummy and creamy going on. There's no tugging on your eyes. It's an automatic pencil. So that's great about it. These are a great new addition to L'Oreal's lineup. It's the best eyeliner formula that I have found from them in years. I really love this and I'm actually reaching for this one over all of my other eyeliners and that's saying a lot. Probably have, you know, 50 eyeliners themselves. I already own it in the nude and the brown and now this one. Oh, and I own it in charcoal as well. They're all beautiful colors and they just blend out like a dream. Recently, L'Oreal came out with their second version of their Tartlet Tubing Mascara, except for this is the XL. This is really good. This is really, really good. So the wand is a lot like the original one. Nothing, you know, to write home about. It is a silicone bristle brush, but 
it gives you this really beautiful length on your lashes. So any mascara that you're using, maybe you like that mascara because it gives you volume, but it doesn't give you extreme length. This is going to give you such good length and it does really good on the volume too, but the length is what's great about it. It comes off every bit as nicely as the regular tubing mascaras do. You know, you can use micellar water, regular cleanser, whatever. They come right off. This one, I get the volume that I want out of it, but I get like super length out of my eyelashes. So I really do like this one and I wanted to make sure I told you about it. I did get sent a little care package from Physicians Formula in PR and I chose to share with you this product right here. This is the blush I have on today. This is the Diamond Filler. You can use this as a lip or a cheek product. Now it does have a doe foot applicator on it and I really, really like the way that this looks on. I tend to lean way towards pinks, roses, mauves, but this is kind of a coral, deepened coral look to it. And this is a beautiful blush. What I love about it is it's super duper easy to blend. It almost reminds me of how easy to blend the Rare Beauty blushes are. Those are gorgeous blushes. I love those so much. But this one, as you're blending it out, you will be shocked at how nourishing and moisturizing it is. It gives a glow all by itself. And part of that is because it does stay just a little bit dewy, but it's not tacky or anything like that. So I'm gonna go out and get some more of these. Brilliant Peach, I was really surprised. I love how it wears. They're just pretty. And I chose not to wear any sort of highlighter today. This is just the dewy glowy look from this product. Really am impressed with these and liking how these look on your face, buildable too. So you could take that that's over there and you could build it up to be a little bit, bit a little bit more pigment there. Pretty, they're just so pretty. So really wanted to show you that, couldn't wait to show you that one. And then lastly, if you are a cool toned gal or a neutral toned gal, that every bronzer that you choose makes you crazy because you end up looking like you have Oompa Loompa skin, and I, that is so hard for me because it always turns orange on me, just about every bronzer. And I get so disappointed. I'm just like, why can't they come out with bronzers that are the happy medium? Well, this isn't exactly a happy medium, but I'm wearing this as a bronzer to go up in my hairline, to help contour some of the places that I want to recede a little bit. But I've noticed that when I use this as a contour, and then put a little bit of my blush or just run my blush pr brush across it, I get the most perfect bronzer color because I'm mixing my own. So you'll see that this one looks fairly muddy right there, but as you blend it out, you're gonna get a little bit of that muddy color, yes, and so it's perfect for contour, but then you take something like that blush that we were just working with and you take a tiny dab of it and you put it on top of there. And I'm telling you, you get this rosy tone bronzer that blends like a dream, costs you like $5 for this and use whatever blush you have in your arsenal already. And then you have the perfect bronzer. I'm so loving mixing this like that. I don't know why I didn't think of this before that we need a pink bronzer. We need a rose bronzer. If we're cool toned, we have to have that look to them and nobody makes them. Absolutely nobody. Ah. Don't get me started. I wish I could go into the lab and create foundations that have cool tone colors and bronzers that have cool tone colors and eyeshadows. I just wish that I could do something like that maybe down the road somewhere in my future. We'll see. But definitely think about getting a product like this that is absolutely muddy and you would not wear it as a bronzer to warm up your face, but warm up your face by mixing it with a really good blush, cream blush. Ah, so good. I'm so happy with this and i really love how creamy this stick is and how good it goes together that is it for today's video i hope that you did enjoy seeing my roundup for february and march of the good and bad so let me know down in the comment section the things that you have picked up or that you've been reaching for that maybe you love or maybe you don't love so much and i would love to hear that from you get a conversation going about that i appreciate you stopping by so very much i hope that you're all doing really well please come and see me again very soon i love you much goodbye my friends.